Sunday Mirror now. The King's Fury. Sounds like the forgotten fourth Lord of the Rings book. Oh, it does, doesn't it? Well, the King's Fury, as Donald Trump said, Kate had herself to blame over topless snaps. Now, this, this you might think this has happened again, but it has. This is referring to an old incident uh, back in 2012. So the paparazzi in, took n- yeah, pictures of Kate yeah, on holiday on, news. On a holiday when she was topless. And this is in Christopher Anderson's upcoming biography, The King, The Life of Charles the third. They should replace that with King Charles the third now, shouldn't they, really? But anyway, um, it, it, so <laughs> Prince William, Prince Harry and King Charles apparently exploded into torrents of profanity. I love that. Torrents of a pa- profanity. Very dramatic. Yeah, I love it. And this is after Donald Trump had written about Kate Middleton's topless photo scandal um, and basically he tweeted, uh, and I'm assuming this is before he got banned on Twitter, maybe this is why. Well, this was four years before oh, he okay, was president. Four years before we got yeah. banned. Um, the 76-year-old tweeted that Kate Middleton is great, but she shouldn't be sunbathing in the nude, only herself to blame. Who wouldn't take Kate's picture and make lots of money if she does the new sunbathing thing? Come on, Kate. And now, I, oh, I, I, OK, I kind of... I, I, I do not want to agree with anything Trump says. I'm not a Trump fan, but I kind of see his point in a way. These what? are royal family, right? I know you're going on holiday, but I mean, I don't get my jubblies out. Like, I don't, you know, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not anybody. So why would you do that, knowing that someone? Well, it was. Somebody... I, I think I'm, I'm not usually one to defend the royals, but um, uh, I think it was on a private beach and there wasn't anyone for miles around, and the paparazzi got the picture because they rented a boat and kind of had an incredibly powerful telephoto lens, and even then the pictures were very blurry. I think I remember them. But um, Toby, so I'm what... not sure they were sort of asking for it. But why is they're not asking for it? But I'm just, no, and I certainly wasn't. Saying saying that. Let's no, crack that one. Yeah. I was going to say that, but I'm just saying that it, it's like when you know that you are photographed like 24 seven, yes. you know, William has got his mother who's had the same thing. And of course, he's still angry at Trump because he, I didn't know he tried to pursue his mother. So yes, he, and he relentlessly went after her and he said, oh, but she needs to have a, um, and, and obviously she kept rebuking him, like saying no. And then he says, as long as he has, has a, an AIDS test or was it? Or, 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 he, said, or, he said he could have Nailed her if I wanted to. If That's I wanted what Trump to, yeah, said. yeah, go dream in your dreams, Trump. <laughs> I mean, this dream. is bizarre. I mean, Toby, you know a few things about old tweets being dug up and stuff like this. You know, <laughs> this, this it does happen, doesn't it? But it's not. Why is anyone interested or surprised that Trump tweeted a few uh, sort of yeah. barb things? Of course he did. Yeah, I guess the story isn't that Trump reacted in the way he did. Um, I guess the story is that um, who would have thunk it? Prince William, Prince Harry, and King Charles sometimes swear. Right. Okay. And they, and they, <laughs> that's a torrent of expletives uh, when Trump said this thing. W- one thing that struck me did. about this story was that um, I looked up um, Christopher Anderson's new forthcoming Fury of the King biography, yes. and um, uh, he's got a better story, which is apparently uh, when he was Prince Charles, um, he would employ members of his, his staff to look after his teddy bear long into his adult life, and he would only really? employ this one woman to kind of, his old nanny would be the only person trusted to sew up his teddy bear when the teddy bear was in need of repair, and he treated oh. it like a kind of major surgery to one of his children. He was just obsessed, apparently, with this ancient, disintegrating teddy Does bear. Does he still have it? Do we know? I, yeah, I don't know. Good question. Because, I mean, adult, I do know adults are very attached to their no, teddy bears, know. aren't I they? That, I think that's all kind of warm to me, to, to him. I oh, think yeah, that's endearing. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, I think there's obviously some trauma there that we, we don't know about. Yeah, it's just, that's quite sweet. Well, I mean, not, uh, but not surprising that the royal family swear. Aristocrats always swear, I mean, for goodness sake. Anyway.